Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Elisabetta, an Italian watercolor artist and I have a passion for art supplies. Today we are swatching all my oranges. I find that uh, orange is a completely underrated color. Uh, many watercolor artists think that uh, you can just mix your orange, which is true, I often do it, but there are some single pigment orange that have unique hues, unique colors, and I'm swatching them today. Stay with me. I'm starting with the cadmium orange starting with uh, uh, an orange from ukraine rosa gallery they make uh, wonderful colors and i have already swatched and reviewed this whole palette but it is interesting to see all the oranges side by side so the particularity the uniqueness of this um, ukraine rosa colors is that uh, they have an incredible flow on paper this is made with uh, two pigments it's uh, po20 which is cadmium orange and py35 which is uh, cadmium yellow so you see how lovely and bright and vibrant this color is and it's uh, also a delight uh, the dispersion on paper Let, um, let's see what happens when it dries i'm an enthusiast of these uh, colors from ukraine not just to support ukraine but also because they are objectively wonderful artist grade very affordable price. Let's go to the next cadmium orange. It's uh, in this palette. It's uh, Paul Rubens tubes that I have squeezed in a, in a, in a palette. And Paul Rubens rewets beautifully. This is called cadmium orange deep, but actually it's a pearl orange. It's PO73 very vibrant uh, i think that uh, paul rubens is uh, an underrated uh, brand because they make lovely vibrant colors and uh, they're very affordable they often have uh, they often have uh, discounts the dispersion of paper is not as uh, incredible as uh, rosa gallery but that's really unique it's, it's an excellent uh, dispersion and the light fastness is also very good as per the cadmium orange from Rosa Gallery. Look at how different they are. I think that I prefer the Rosa Gallery one as it is slightly softer than the Paul Rubens. Let's see now this tube that is cadmium red pale hue. It's red, but um, I consider it, I use it as an an orange because uh, uh, it's made with uh, red and yellow so I put some directly from the tube it's a color that you find in any basic Cotman palette I don't like to use my Cotman's any longer very much because I prefer to use professional paper but this uh, cadmium it's so nice that I have found a place in my palette, my everyday go-to palette. You see, it's, a, it's an orange. It's not so pigmented, maybe like uh, the previous ones, but it's a student grade. Uh, it's a student grade range from uh, Windsor and Newton, but it's one of the best uh, students, um, student ranges around, so. I'll add some color here and uh, let's see what happens when it dries. Let's 
Let's go now to a recent acquisition, which is Lucas. Lucas has a permanent orange. This beautiful 48 uh, set that I have recently reviewed in a palette. And uh, here it is. I find that Lucas colors are also very underrated. Look at the richness of this uh, orange. It has a beautiful uh, variety from mass tone to um, light washes, which is a quality that quality that I appreciate very much. Look at uh, how transparent it is and uh, look at uh, the depth and the vibrancy in mass tone and how well it washes. Also Lucas uh, rewets beautifully. One of my favorite brands. I should use it more often. This is uh, also made with the PO71 which is Pirol Orange. I have many oranges with this uh, pigment so it's nice to compare them all i must say that i admit that i'm realizing today that um, i have so many tubes uh, all with the same pigment next one is uh, one of my favorite ones and it is um, by schminke and it is transparent orange always made with po71 Pirol Orange. Schminke is always uh, is always beautiful. Look at same uh, same uh, pigment, but I don't know. There is something unique about Schminke. Look at how look at how deep it is. So although yes, uh, you can mix uh, your own orange. I think that. Uh, the charm of this um, PO71 uh, you will never have in an orange that you mix. That's why I insist on having some oranges in my palette. Wonderful. Let's uh, now try the My Mary, always uh, PO71, and it is very light fast this pigment so it's not a fugitive pigment no worries let's see what happens with uh, the same pigment made by my mary it's also very beautiful my mary is an italian brand it's quite expensive but it's very easy to find here in europe at least here in italy of course it's very easy to find but um, it's also a bit underrated not uh, much marketing and uh, look at how beautiful this pearl orange is it's uh, i think that it's maybe even more beautiful than uh, its uh, schminke equivalent i love the difference between the mass tone and the light wash it's one of my favorite qualities i already said it but it's important for me Let's go now to one of my preferite uh, paints. It's uh, by Rembrandt, this one. And uh, Rembrandt is uh, probably the brand that I buy most often because it has a wonderful uh, performance and uh, um, a good price, an affordable price. A very good range of single pigments colors and this is PO48 Quinacridone Burnt Orange. It's a, an autumn orange and it is so warm and rich. Now unfortunately, unfortunately there is uh, some color, um, some binder separation because it's starting to be hot here, but uh, you can still see how beautiful it is. You know, it can happen in tubes, but uh, 
look at the richness of uh, hues and shades that you get here in the maston beautiful next we have two pans uh, they are both from white knight the first one is titian red titian red is um, po36 uh, which is uh, benzimidozolone scarlet but it looks like an orange to me it's a it's quite a light orange but it's a very warm and uh, i like to use it you know that white knight is a russian brand and um, very good price point it's an artist grade uh, brand then i would like to swatch always from white knights the golden yellow golden yellow it's called yellow but it's actually a light orange and here it is it is po62 it's almost an indian red actually an indian yellow but um, it's very nice for uh, fruits and vegetables i like to paint uh, fruits and vegetables so this is a color that I like to use, this golden yellow. Now, I would like to compare these two golden yellow by Rosa Gallery, which has a different formulation, but uh, I think that the color is quite comparable, and it is a yellow. It's a PY 110, but it's so rich and deep that uh, it's almost uh, a light orange. Then I have uh, always a pan, a mango orange. I have already reviewed uh, this uh, palette, it was watercolor set. Mangio has a problem for me that they use uh, very cheap pigments. So although the colors are vibrant, this is very vibrant, the pigments are very cheap. Uh, this PO13 and PY14 are basically only used by Mangio. It's a student grade, but they're very fugitive. Uh, so they are more used for inks, toys, cosmetics, uh, so I don't know. I'm not crazy about this brand. Although this orange is lovely color, I must say. And uh, last but not least, uh, I have uh, from my Ink Tense palette that uh, I've swatched and reviewed and then I have used a lot uh, since that day. I have this mango ink tense by derwent which is uh, a nice uh, tangerine color a light uh, orange like the previous ones i like it very much uh, ink tense has the property to dry in permanent so you don't lift it once you um, layer again so let's uh, wait until they dry and then we come back for some final considerations okay now the colors are dry and we can appreciate the differences um, you see that uh, despite they are orange they also all very different one from each other i start from the rosa gallery rosa gallery has uh, such a high dispersion on paper that um, it has a huge dry shift, so you need to layer and layer and layer. But that's also the beauty of this paint, that uh, you can keep layering and you get very nice effects. But just one layer wouldn't be enough. Then the Paul Rubens Cadmium. Uh, it's a bit disappointing once dry. It also has a dry shift and uh, some cauliflowers here. The Cotman is uh it's nice actually it's uh, almost granulating and 
I don't know, it's one of my favorite, doesn't make my heart beat like some other oranges, but I have it and I use it once in a while. It's a bit earthy, I, I don't mind it. Then these three, the Permanent Orange by Lucas, the Transparent Orange by Schminke, and the Pirol Orange by My Mary, they all use the same pigment, PO71. So I think it's a bit redundant that I have uh, three tubes made with the same pigments, but they're all so beautiful. Maybe my favorite is the My Mary one. And uh, I will, when I finish this, uh, uh, tubes, uh, I will rebuy my Mary because I think, I don't know, it's really, really beautiful. The Lucas uh, has a small tendency to cauliflower, but uh, maybe it's it's a coincidence. It's, it is very nice, actually, but the my Mary is powerful. Then one of my favorite, you see, even dry, it keeps all its uh, power and strength uh, and beauty and it is Queen Acridon Burnt Orange by Rembrandt. I think that uh, Daniel Smith also makes uh, Queen Acridon Burnt Orange. I am curious to try it, but I don't have it. Then the two White Knights um, oranges, also a bit disappointing once dry. They have a, they have a dry, dry shift, but they're still lovely colors, warm and deep. So given the price point, I still think I can recommend it. And the Golden Yellow by Rosa Gallery, it's beautiful. This is really a beautiful color. I have painted a sunflower using this Golden Yellow and I was so happy. The Mangio, despite the cheap uh, pigments that uh, uses, uh, I think that uh, the result is lovely. I don't like to use this set very often because uh, it's, all made by cheap pigments, they're all multi-pigments um, paints, but uh, this particular orange is quite pleasant to the eye. Nothing to do with the Pirol orange, but still uh, as a light orange or a deep yellow, it's pleasant to the eye. And then the Mango um, Ink Tense by Ink Tense, it's, um, I think it's lovely, it's a nice, uh, color it's um, once again it won't uh, make my heart beat faster but i think that for uh, sketching can be very very nice i have left some white spaces because um, there will be new reviews uh, coming and i will add new oranges to my collection so for me the winner is uh, um, either queen acridon burnt orange by rembrandt or a Pirol Orange by My Mary, which makes me very happy because uh, I have uh, still, um, my tubes are still full, so I have a long way to go. I hope you have appreciated this uh, swatch and review. And uh, if you have, uh, please do not hesitate to give me a thumb up. And uh, if you want to see more of my videos, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and a big ciao from Italy.